Sorry if y'all can hear, I'm typing in the background. We're quarantined, so, you know, sharing the same office right now. Yeah, nothing I can do about it. Hey y'all, and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I'm gonna show y'all a couple of immune boosting recipes. So quick disclaimer, obviously I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor, I am just a chef. I'm just here to take the foods that those people have said are immune boosting and fit them into a recipe so that we actually eat them because what's the point of knowing that they're the good right foods to eat if we're not actually eating them. So that's what I'm here to do. I'm gonna go over what foods I put into these recipes and why I put them into these recipes, but do not ask me to go in depth. I do not understand how things work in the body. I'm just, like I said, I'm just here to put these foods together in a way that is delicious to consume. So first, as I was researching like immune boosting foods, I realized that most of the foods that people say are immune boosting, I already eat. They're already a part of my daily diet. They should be a part of most people's daily diet. I mean, they're really simple fruits and veggies. We all know those are the healthiest foods. So a couple other things, obviously, stay hydrated, drink lots of water. We all know that. Get plenty of rest, we all know that. Exercise, move our bodies. We're all aware of like those things that keep us healthy and that actually do help our immune system. So the first recipe I'm gonna show y'all today is the tea that I made in my What I Eat In A Day. I'm gonna make it a little bit differently because I'm actually gonna put green tea in it because it's not nighttime. Basically green tea with lemon, ginger, and cayenne. Green tea is full of antioxidants, something a word you will hear me say many, many times throughout this video because antioxidants are super important for immune function. Ginger decreases inflammation. Lemon is a citrus fruit, which we all know contains vitamin C, and we all have heard our entire lives how vitamin C is good for your immune system. Vitamin C helps your body increase production of white blood cells, which are your blood cells that fight off bacteria and viruses and all the bad guys. And the capsaicin in cayenne reduces inflammation and contains antioxidants. So I make this tea whenever I'm sick, whenever I feel like I'm going to get sick, or whenever I just want some warm, calming tea that I know is super good for me and going to help protect my body from the scary pandemic going on. I'm drinking this tea often right now, just in case, just to make sure just for an extra little boost. Another thing y'all know I make almost every day is a smoothie and we all know that fruit has tons of vitamins and minerals and has lots of antioxidants. Different fruits have different levels but I eat a variety of fruit in my smoothies as well as putting orange juice and other juices in it that are high in antioxidants and vitamin C and all of those necessary vitamins and minerals to keep your immune system functioning at its best. Sometimes I put nut butters in like I showed you the other day. Sometimes I don't. It just depends on how hungry I'm feeling and what kind of smoothie I'm feeling that day. And then for a good lunch or dinner recipe, I'm gonna show y'all a stir fry because it's one of the easiest ways to get a ton of great vegetables and why I chose each ingredient specifically for this extra immune boosting stir fry. For the sauce on this stir fry, we're going to include almond butter. Almonds are high in vitamin E, acting as an antioxidant. Ginger, which we already talked about. Garlic, which boosts your immune system in a bunch of ways, helps is an antibacterial, antiviral, and helps in so many different ways. We're going to use turmeric, the curcumin in turmeric, boosts your immune system. You can use lemon or lime juice, which we already talked about, citrus fruits, high in vitamin C and we're gonna use soy sauce for flavor and because it's a fermented food, which is, which is great for your gut bacteria and overall health, which is gonna help 
your immune system function at its best. If you keep your overall body healthy, everything is connected, everything is intertwined and works together to keep you healthy. In my stir fry today, I'm going to use broccoli, carrots, red bell peppers, mushrooms, spinach, and edamame for the vegetables. Broccoli actually has more vitamin C than some citrus fruits and is also high in antioxidants. Carrots and red bell peppers are high in beta carotene and antioxidants. Bell peppers actually have more beta carotene than carrots do. I'm going to use mushrooms and spinach because they're high in selenium and other antioxidants. I'm going to use edamame because it's high in copper, which can boost your immune system. And I'm going to use kelp noodles, partly because we have some leftover that I need to use up, but also partly because it contains iodine, which promotes thyroid and me metabolic activity, which the immune system relies on. Now these are not the only immune boosting foods out there, but these are foods that a lot of people have on hand, the kelp noodles maybe not so much, but you can use but you can use rice or rice noodles in place of the kelp noodles. Like I said, I just have some left over. Otherwise, these are vegetables that a lot of people have on hand and can put together into this stir fry to make a powerhouse of immune, immune boosting meals. Alright, I hope you're staying home, washing your hands, taking care of yourself, all of those things while we're stuck at home. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm trying to get more active on those things as I am stuck at home. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when I post so that we can hang out while we're quarantined. Share this video so your friends and family can hopefully stave off this virus. And I'll see y'all next time. I'm the Vegan Rainbow. Bye, y'all.